Okay, this video is a little bit of a repeat, but this is how to get your FTP information from Infinity. And this assumes you've already got an account created. What I'm going to do is go ahead and click up here to the client area. Okay, it already, it saved my information at the top here, but potentially you might have to log in again. I'm going to click on this link here. If I go right here, I have my FTP username, I've got my FTP password, and the FTP host. Now, I'm going to use this information when I connect my website to Dreamweaver, and I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and launch Dreamweaver. Okay, I'm going to, now that I have Dreamweaver open, I'm going to go under the site menu and select new site. Here is where I'm going to name my site and I'm just going to call this um, JLG81. Doesn't really matter what you call it, something that identifies you. This is really important. I need to show Dreamweaver where my website folders are created. Now you should have already call, created a folder called Art116. In Art116 you've got a folder called, in this case, JGage. We're going to refer to this folder as your name folder. This folder is going to hold all your documents for this class. A Photoshop folder inside your, what we're going to call your name folder, you have an image folder. And we're going to point Dreamweaver to this folder right here. Not Art 116, but this folder. Right, I'm going to close that. Right here, in order for Dreamweaver to create this path, I'm going to click on this folder icon. I'm going to go to my desktop find Art116, my named folder, and I'm going to choose it. On a PC it might say select, but make sure that you're targeting this folder and say choose. Then I'm going to go to servers, I'm going to add a server, and I'm just going to call it infinity free. The connect using FTP is correct. Now I'm going to go back to Infinity Free. I'm going to grab this information, the FTP host name. I'm going to select it, copy it. Coming back to Dreamweaver, I'm going to put it in the FTP address area. Going back to Infinity, I'm going to select my FTP username, copy that information. Move that over, username, I'm going to grab my password and I'm going to do this off screen, but remember you can show and hide so I'm going to go off the screen and grab that password. I'm going to put the password right in this area, get rid of that dialog box. I'm going to test just to make sure that everything that I put in here is correct and Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully. That's exactly what I want to see. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And save, save, say OK. And there we go. Now I can take this file menu and I can split it up into two. I can see everything that is in my Art116 folder, specifically my named folder. I can see my name folder and the image folder inside. Again, I pointed Dreamweaver to this folder. Okay. To connect to the server, I can click on this button. And now I see what 
is held for me on Infinity Free, and I'm going to want to upload all of my Dreamweaver documents, my HT documents, to this folder, only this folder. I can expand it. You're going to have something similar. You're not going to have this file just yet, but all our homework for this course is going to be in this folder. It's going to start populating. At this point, I'm just going to disconnect from the server. And that's it for this video.